Welcome to um, the glitch detector. Here I am playing Half-Life 2. My friends told me about this mega glitch. Uh, you know, I didn't believe them, but now I believe it. This is the most epic glitch I have ever seen. Okay, here, let me load it up. Okay, these little assholes are trying to kill me. All right, here it goes, here it goes. Alex comes out, she's a babe. And then right around here, it always happens. Oh, by the way, spoiler alert. Usually, yep, look at that. Can you even believe this? Valve fucked up on this one. Fucking the glitch to end all glitches. And guess who's behind it? Boom, the glitch man. G-man more commonly known. My arch enemy, that little motherfucking asshole. Anyone who's played the original Half-Life knows the G-Man is a character that Valve screwed up big time. He became self-aware and he took over the end of the first game. Now, I was hoping when Valve made a sequel that they would fix the problem. I assumed they would fix it, but no. It just pisses me off how Valve can't even get their games together. Look at this guy. Just comes out of the freaking the, the nowhere, just pops up. You can't just ignore something like that. You can't even finish the game. Look. You hear this stupid glitch's voice. He completely takes you out of the game. And you never know what happens in the real... You don't. Know, you never know what the real ending to Half-Life is. This guy's making Valve look like a bunch of retarded children. Look at he just... Oh, he, he's taunting me by walking away. And he just... And exits some stupid door that doesn't even exist. This is just stupid, okay? I can't believe. And then roll credits. Good job, Valve. Good job. Yeah. Ruined yet another game. Charlie Brown must be behind this. This is so dumb. I hate everything. <laughs>